YouTube, this is Jen, your pudgy picker. Got another Thursday garage sale haul for you. Did really well. Went to 43 garage sales and spent $59. My son got a few items, not as many as uh, previous like, last two weeks. He did get a $10 camera he's planning on selling for 60 In fact, it's the same one that he sold previously, like maybe two weeks ago. And a couple Wii games and I think some GameCube games. So $59. Oh, here comes Pixel. Look, there's Inky. See what we got for Inky? We got a new scratching post for Inky. Inky, you like your scratching post? Um, I believe I paid two dollars for that. I really, really, really want to get her a cat tree. Him a cat tree. But this will be a good start. So, look at all the goodies I got. So, let me show you what I got. You know me in colanders. This is an old oldie but a goodie I got for a dollar. Got these two cute soaps. Uh, one is lavender, one is verbena. They're pretty decent sized bars. Uh, they had Marshall stickers on them for like five something each. I like smelly soap. What can I say? Uh, got a piece of fabric for 25 cents. There's at least two yards there. Got a patch of grass. <laughs> Look how big this thing is. So anytime I can buy something where the cat won't eat it, I will probably sell that out at my antique booth. It's got the uh, stainless steel, like industrial kind of metal bottom on that. I did find a uh, bath and body works candle for a dollar. Never been burned. Um, very surprised to see that. It's called Snow Day. Put that away till winter. Um, even those, when you get them 50% off, they're still 12 bucks. So hey. Anytime I can find them at a garage sale, especially not even burn, that's a good deal. I got this cool little uh, cookie jar for $2, and it's got the chalkboard uh, little label. It's not really a label. It was built into it. It's from the 80s. 50 cents. I figured that'd be a good one to keep in my car. Um, let's see. I got a banker's lamp. That was $5. Those always sell. This one isn't particularly old. Or really heavy like a lot of them are but they always sell for at least 25 20 to 25 bucks I saw this oh it is like full metal and you put a tea light or a votive in there very heavy uh, you know nautical stuff does really good for me that was a whole two dollars got these cute three frames I want to frame some of my old uh, antique pictures so I'm trying to find frames that look kind of old, heirloom-ish. So this one was a dollar. This one was 75. This one was 50 cents. Then I had another one. Maybe, maybe not. Um, are you done barking? <laughs> so yeah, patrol in the house. This is a really cool Japanese war horse. I swear I looked over this really good, but guess what? He's missing an ear. <laughs> so, you know, I only paid $2 for them, but still, that makes you mad when you, you think you look over something and then there's something obvious. I looked through all the bags and I had this basket in the car. I'll look around in the car just in case, you know, it got busted off. Uh, I can always glue it back on, but what are you going to do? So that was a guess from my boo-boo for the day. Got these uh, uh, two-inch tag uh, fasteners. I do have a tag, swift tag gun. Um, so these could be used for maybe even purses or that type of thing uh, with my price tags. Uh, these are a smaller size, but it is a good brand. It is born. Um, so they're in really good condition. Sandals, the bottoms are like, don't even look like they've ever been worn. I got this itty bitty a life jacket for a small, small, small doggy. I believe she had two on it. I said, will you take one? Because I'm not sure it'll fit my dog. Well, I kind of fit. No. I don't think Pixel would fit in that, but a dollar. Uh, we'll look that up online. Real cool green, like a uh, crushed velvet uh, lamp light. I did plug it in there. It works. I believe I paid... Like $2 for that? 
These are really cool. My daughter hasn't seen this yet. She'll probably want to take it. It's called a Zip It. It's like a bag made out of zippers. And this one is good for a three ring binder. Isn't that cool? Brand new. So we'll see how much that goes for. I believe I paid 50 cents for that. This is an oldie but a goodie. This is a Spice Master uh, two-tier turntable, like one of those Lazy Susans. In the original box, the box on the back says 1964. So pretty cool. I'm gonna look through and make sure everything's in there, but it does look new in the package. So we'll see how that does. My other good item that is a 60s item is these really cool fondue forks. The lady was selling a this and a fondue pot for five. I said, can I get this separate? She said, no. And I said, I'll give you three bucks for them. She said, okay. <laughs> so these are still in the original package. The 60s wood handle and they each have the different color ends. So you know which one is yours. So those should do really well. Um, this is really cute. Somebody evidently made this. It is a frame with the chicken wire and then it has the clips. So you can hang up uh, pictures or uh, recipes, kind of like a clipboard type deal. And it's got the two hooks on it. That was three. That's really cute. Uh, it's a little more than I probably wanted to pay for it, but that is definitely a cute, cute item. I got an ampersand. Uh, I've sold these in the past. This one is also metal. The previous one was black metal. Um, this one was only a dollar. People love stuff like that for shelves. I got a Light Up H. This is metal. It's one of those, supposed to look like, you know, a marquee or a theater lighting. Uh, paid $5 for that. H is our last name, starts with an H, so I couldn't pass that up. So, got to find a place to hang that up. Got this really cool uh, tea light holder. Um, the bag behind it has all the little, uh, all these little uh, glass uh, pieces. I think I paid $2 for that. These are nice because you can use these or you can just put a tea light if it's got like a clear, uh, you know, base or something. Either way, that's fine. Um, I did get this really cool country pumpkin wooden sign. It was $2. Isn't that cute? I just saw that and fell in love with it. Um, I put my mirror down here because look at this cool piece that I got. It's not old, but it looks like uh, like a grate from something. I paid five dollars. It is metal. It's kind of cool because you can hang it this way or you can turn it the other direction. But I figured that was a very, very good price. I got this cool little footstool. Um, it is in very, very good condition. It was only a dollar. Do you want to get by? Can I show you? <laughs> Mr. Pudgy Picker wants to squeeze by. Say hi. Yo. Okay, that's all you get. <laughs> uh, let me show you what else I got. He's so shy. Oh, I did get um, this Bible. Uh, it's in very good condition. It has the, uh, the pages where you write your family information, and none of those is filled out. Got that for 50 cents. Got one of these cool little boxes for $2 that is actually, well, it's a box, but it looks like a book. Uh, I got some more stuffing because I have a few projects. This was only a dollar. It's pretty much full. This is a really cool piece. Um, let me turn it around. It is very, very heavy. It's got the fall leaves. But look, at it's got faces in there. Isn't that cool? It's like a resin, but it is very heavy. It has a mirror. I believe that was two. I uh, just couldn't pass that up. That's a very unique piece. Um, this is a The Sack. Um, I know these do pretty good online. Um, this one has all the metal zippers. All the zippers work. It's like a heavy canvas. It's got a really pretty lining on the inside somewhere. Hang on. Isn't that cool? Really pretty lining. Um, and... It was a dollar, and there was a dime in it, so I got a 10% discount. Pretty cool, huh? So I believe that is all I got. Like I said, went spent $59 at 43 sales, and I'm pretty happy with what I got. 
So I know probably the two pieces that will pay for everything is the fondue forks and my little two-tier turntable. Say that ten times fast. So that's all I got for this time. Connor and I are actually considering going out tomorrow for a couple hours. So I got a newspaper. We're going to look at that. It's supposed to be 90 tomorrow, so it's going to be kind of uncomfortable. But if we can just do a couple hours early in the morning before it gets too hot, that would be great. So that's all I got. Please give this video a thumbs up, share it, leave a comment down below. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate all my subscribers. And that is all I have all this time. And Inky, still sniffing it. Yeah, you're supposed to scratch that, not my office chair. Inky, look at that face. <laughs> So that is all I got, and get out there, find some good junk, make some videos. I want to see what you're finding. So until next time, happy picking. Bye!